Hello everyone and welcome to English with Nasrin. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you an amazing website called wordart.com, as you can see here. It's an amazing website that enables uh, teachers to work with your students and in a creative way, as your students can create a word cloud art. And with that, they could, for example, uh, use it to describe a certain image with the words uh, projecting the shape of that image as well. For example, here, I'm gonna share with you a quick example. Here, I did a lesson with my students uh, where they had to describe themselves and write words that describe their character. And then they had to choose a shape that embodies that as well. So as you could see here, these are the names of the students and for each student you could see there is a different shape or sometimes similar. And after that, we actually uh, had a small talk where they, you know, uh, I described themselves and talked in length about their character. And they, I also opened an option for them to ask one another questions. Uh, and also what's really nice is that you could really get a glimpse of who your students are beyond, you know, the framework of the classroom itself, but really get to know them and what their interests, what they like, what sometimes uh, they don't like or, or other things as well. So it's a really nice uh, opening activity at the beginning of the year as well. And what's really surprising here is that students as well got to know uh, let's say new information about one another as well. So they assume that they know a lot of things about their friends, but with you know having this activity done, they discovered and found out a lot of interesting things about one another. So I think it's kind of really nice, and it does you know uh, uh, bring students closer together as well. So let me show you another example of how I used it for more 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 you know really for pedagogy here and for other objectives of teaching English. So for example, here I used it, uh, this is another example where my students used it to, for example, describe or write words related to bird, a bird or birds. And for example, they wrote, they can fly, they have two eyes, they have a beak and so on. So they could review have, has, they could review can, they could also review adjectives. And it's a really nice way to help them, you know, review words and vocabularies in a very creative way. Another example here is, for example, similar to the bird, which is really a dolphin here. And you could see that here the layout is done in a different way than it was with the bird, where here it's more uh, horizontal and here it's kind of random. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you could do it with your students. And it's really, really easy. If I get back to the home page here, I could see uh, that all I need to do is I click on create now. And this is also something quite fascinating about this website is that your students don't need to sign up in order to work with this website. So it's totally free. It's really super easy to use. So let me walk you through the process. So I'm just going to click on create now and I get to this page where I could see that I need to insert certain words and I need to work with it in order to come up with the image that I want and the word cloud that I want. So I'm just gonna, before I actually start with adding in the words, I'm just gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna show you another example for uh, of how you could use it where I had a, a lesson about feelings and I did this at the beginning of, you know, the uh, spread of COVID-19 and students, uh, for those of you who aren't aware of what COVID-19 is, is uh, a virus that actually uh, spread and students were forced to be indoors for a long period of time during lockdown. So um, I got to do with them an activity where they had to, you know, uh, talk about their feelings and then they had to choose an image that really described how they feel. So I'm just going to choose a random picture here and really go with sad because a lot of them chose sad uh, images or shapes. And once I've chosen that, I'm going to click on visualize and I see that the image I chose pops up, but the words that are there are the words that are here, which is word, cloud, which are word, cloud and art. But these aren't the words that I really want to use. 
So I'm just going to type in other words and I'm going to write, first of all, my name, Nasreen. OK, so the first thing they had to do is they had to write their name and then they had to uh, write words that describe their feelings during lockdown. So they, I, some of them wrote sad, um, some of them wrote bored. Uh, and, and if I need to add more, I just click here and then another box opens up or I could just click on add and another box would open up for me to write in a word. Um, I could say unhappy uh, and I could click on add and another uh, box would be opened and I could add as much as I want, but I really just want to show you the idea. And I could see that the words have not changed yet and that is because I need to click on visualize and then I could see that the words that I have typed in do appear. Now, okay, I got the words. I got the uh, image that I, the shape that I want. And if I'm not happy with shape, this shape, I could always go back and I could choose a different shape. If I wish, I could choose something different again. And I just click on visualize and then it changes again. So even if they have chosen a certain shape, they could go again and change it. So, but I, I'm not happy really with the uh, colors that appear. So what I need to do is I go back to words. I could do it actually in two ways. I could either go back to words and work here. And for example, click on the color and instead of choosing default, I could just, you know, choose a different color and I click on apply. And then what happens is wherever I have the word Nasreen, I would see it in green because I chose that image, that color. If I click on sad and I don't want it to be default in red, I want to change it into, for example, purple. And then I could click on apply. I would see that I would have it wherever I have the word sad, it would be in purple. So this is just, you know, um, a simple way of how you could work with also the colors and, and choose different colors for each word. And I could go on and on and choose a different color for each one. And then uh, if I don't want to work from here, I could always go down here where I have uh, a layout and then I could go to, uh, sorry, to style and I could change the colors again here to uh, what I uh, something else that I want. Or I could see, for example, shape, custom. And it's really nice just to work around with it and see uh you know uh how it changes and i could also like color emphasis if i want it to be darker lighter and so on and i could also make it transparent or not uh white or not and i could just you know work with it and this is where it, the students really really start to enjoy it and really really take their time with being creative and to choosing different colors and so on um and again, if I go back to words, there is another way also to change the way of how the words are, are laid out and shown. So, for example, if I click here, uh, I could either work here with the angle or I could click here where I have the layout and I could choose the way of how I want the words to show. They could be either vertical, for example, and I click on visualize and then I would see that all the words will be changed to vertical. If I don't want it to be vertical, then I could just go back to horizontal and I could also choose random which is something really nice where it shows the words in a, let's say more random a way where some of them are going up, some of them are going down, some of them are, uh, you know, um, in, projected in different uh, directions and they are simply random. And I also have the option of choosing different fonts. So I could work from here and choose a font where it, be, where it would be default for all the words I have chosen or I could go up here where I have words and I could choose for every word a different font. So for example, for Nasrin, I might choose something else. I might choose, for example, set another word, another font, sorry, and for board, another font, and for unhappy, another font. And I would click on visualize and then I would see that uh, each word is it has a different font and this again makes it kind of uh, interesting and uh, cool I think and students really really enjoy it now I think I'm quite happy with the outcome here uh, of course I could go on and on and be more creative and, and change things as well but if I would like to save it or send it to my teacher then I just show my students the option of download here and then I tell them to save it on their computer and then I ask them for example to go to a Padlet page like here where that I have created and I add them I ask them to click on the plus button and submit their image so if I just click on plus I would demonstrate and show them and then I choose for example 
uh, upload and I upload the image that I have saved on my computer, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, and this is basically it really. So I, I really hope you find it interesting and there are so many creative ways of how you could use it with your students and you could easily, you know, open up a discussion also as a follow up for this very creative um, uh, activity that you could do with your students. So I hope you found this um, website uh, useful and that you would really like to use it with your students. Again, the ideas are many, you could use it for so many uh, uh, different, in, in so many different ways and occasions. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and see you next time in another video. All the best.